Hello Flame Church and any visitors that may be listening in, welcome to you too. I hope you're all keeping well and staying close to the Lord at this unusual time. By the time this uh, video is broadcast, we will be into our second week of lockdown. How are you finding it? I must admit I cannot ever remember having queued up to get into a supermarket before. The news continues to be full of reports about the coronavirus and which is spreading around the world. And even our leaders haven't escaped it, as Prince Charles and a number of government ministers, including our Prime Minister, have tested positive for the virus. Remember to uphold them in prayer. And let's also remember all those frontline services like the NHS and the supermarket staff all under pressure at this time remember to uphold them in prayer too and guys if any of you are listening thanks for all you're doing many of the online messages i've listened to recently focus on god being our help our strength our protector and refuge and quite rightly too life has suddenly become a lot more uncertain and uncertainty brings fear and anxiety and we need to remember too that our help, our hope, and our peace are in him. And the Psalms feature quite heavily in these messages. Psalms such as Psalm 27, Psalm 91 and 121 and others too. And what an encouragement the words of those Psalms can be. But we need to remember that all he is, all that he promises, are ours but there does need to be a response Godward from us too I and mean, just look at those first couple of verses from Psalm 91 he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust he that dwells, not visits, but dwell. Dwell means to live or to stay as a permanent resident. Dwell is a long-term thing. It's not something that we just dip in and out of as, we, as it pleases us. A relationship with God is not a one-way relationship. God has created us to be with him and to react with him and interact with him. And to be the people he's called us to be declaring his praise and showing others what god is like and his great love for them psalm 96 the first three verses just simply say sing to the lord a new song sing to the lord all the earth sing to the lord praise his name proclaim his salvation day after day Declare his glory among the nations, his marvellous deeds among the peoples. And there's a, a lot more to that psalm. So read that for yourself after you finish listening and to see what the Lord says to you through those words. But one thing I miss already is the opportunity to praise God together with you great folk from the flame. But you know, just because we can't meet together, that should not stop us being a worshipping people. I know that some are already looking at ways that we can worship together over the internet. And maybe that will involve other churches too. But we are made to worship. God has made us to be a worshipping community, a worshipping people. And the greatness of God. The greatness of God moves us to worship sometimes we just overflow with the wonder of all that he has done at other perhaps more painful or worrying seasons in life the psalms such as the ones we've mentioned above remind us of why god is still worthy of praise of worship despite the circumstances we find ourselves in god is unchanging God never changes. His promises never change. We can always be in that place to bring him our worship.
And God is worthy of worship for so many reasons. For his gift of salvation, for the awesome deeds he's done. And our worship should also draw others to worship with us. The words proclaim, declare and say are all used to reinforce worship as a witness. The psalm makes a clear connection between our worship and our witness. How can you invite others to worship with you? During this time when we're unable to meet together, and with others in person. Maybe you could try worshipping together online or over the phone. Time to be creative. John Piper, US author and pastor, writes about this psalm. Our goal is not mere belief or mere behavioural change. Our goal is wholehearted, whole-minded joy that overflows in song. This kind of worship will attract people and offer them a glimpse of God's greatness. People need to hear our song to the Lord and to know about his great work of salvation. All creation is renewed and rejoices in the hope of the coming King. May this glorious hope fill your heart today and help you worship work and witness. I know in the past we've struggled to make opportunities to proclaim the gospel, particularly over recent years as society seems to have become more introverted and turning its back on the church. But you know, today is a new day, a new opportunity to show others the hope that we have in Christ. So ask God to give you the opportunities to proclaim his salvation day after day. Ask for boldness, for grace and for Holy Spirit power to use this opportunity for his glory. Amen. God bless you all. Thanks for listening. Keep safe. Amen.